Hello everybody and welcome to the second to last series of the se of season one in this Giants franchise. We're starting things off with, well, we're, this episode is going to be the Padres coming into town um, to face the uh, Giants. At AT&T Park, let's do this. Cueto takes the mound. I mean, our players are raking it. Moustakis and Scope both having great years. Jonathan Scope having a, or sorry, uh, Jonathan Scope again? No, David Robertson, great year on the mound. Alright. We've already clinched a playoff spot, and we're only four and a half out of the division with six games to go. Three of them against the Dodgers. A sweep of the Padres would make things incredibly interesting. Emmanuel Margot steps into the batter's box to start off a very important series in the season here. And a 2-2 count from Cueto. And fouled off by, Mon by Margot and we will do it again. Fouled off once more. We'll do it once more. Strike three. Swinging, and that is how Johnny Guaido will start off the game. All right. Let's do this. I am really enjoying recording this, and um, as I'm recording this, it might seem like there's absolutely nothing coming out on the channel, and that's because there is. I'm setting up for a special episode. As that is ripped into center for a one-out hit. Oh, he's trying to extend into a double. That was not a mistake. Okay, a double. Now Eric Cosmer steps in. But I'm setting up for a special, like, seven-plus episode um, day for the day after I get out of school. Maybe the day after that, though, because my sister, my sister's high school graduation is the day after I get out of school, so I don't know. We'll see. Austin Jackson set to lead things off here in the bottom of the first. Cueto, good job there in the first. And Jackson cranks it foul. Wow. That would have, that would have been interesting. Okay, 2-2 two, two count now. And strike three, swinging down goes Austin Jackson. Looking at the bottom of the screen, like right here, to see if maybe <clears throat> the Dodgers lost. Talking about the franchise, of course, not real life. And, well, McCutcheon. Ooh, hits it hard enough that it's bobbled, but, not, but still too hard for him to beat it out. All right, Jonathan Scope, who leads the National League in home runs, <clears throat> and RBI steps in. A full count on him. He seems to work a lot of those. 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed, and that is how the inning ends. Giants get no one aboard. Can Cueto continue the dominance he had in the first inning here in the second? Well, that ball's crushed pretty well. And pretty deep into left field. It is going to be caught by Austin Jackson. Wow. Interesting, but I guess effective. Freddie Galvis steps in. Cueto strikes him out. Chase Headley will double. And now Rocky Gale steps in. He's the catcher for San Diego. Let's see what he can do. Never heard of him in my life. So, I mean, tells you he's a pretty good player, right? 2-1 <laughs> count. Well, maybe he is a pretty good player. That's hit into center slow enough that that might score the run. Jackson's throw to the plate is going to be offline, and the Padres lead 1-0. Wow. That's not good. 1-1 one, one count now. Make it a 2-1 count. Quaid him. He gets a little rattled after... Um, I don't think he was really expecting that Rocky Gale would do anything, and then next thing you know, he's hitting one up the middle, and 
And uh, the Padres are winning. And now there's two outs and runners on the corners. Things are not looking good for Cueto, who had started off in the first inning so well. But now Manuel Margot, he steps back into the batter's box for his second plate appearance, and he will hit a fly ball. That is going to be caught, not caught by Chris Davis. As he called off Mike Moustakis at the last second. Now he hits a foul ball the other way. McCutcheon almost able to get there. It just goes into the stands. Just barely, but Margot strikes out for his second at for the second time. Cueto, you see there, visibly happy that he was able to work his way out of that jam. Now bottom of the second, 1-1 one, one count. Mike Moustakis up. And ground ball to first. That's out number one. Not, not good at all, really. 3-0 count now. Buster Posey steps in. He's really 288, 25 home runs. Not having a bad season. Not having a great season. He's kind of just in the lineup as he lines up base hit. Like, he's a really good all-around player. But with Moustakis and Scope doing what they're doing, he's getting kind of forgotten. Chris Davis hit a walk-off home run to end the last episode. Watches that slider outside by Luis Perdomo. 2-1 count. And now Davis, he lines one into left field. That'll just be a single. So two on, one out. And, well, Davis, he... Hopefully that's the start of him really heating up as... If he could heat up now, that walk-off two-run bomb, and now that single. Ooh, things could get very interesting. Now Evan Longoria up. He rips one into left field. That will get down. This game is at least tied. They are not going to send Chris Davis. Two runners in scoring position. One out, and the game is tied. <clears throat> RBI double for Evan Longoria brings up Brandon Phillips. With a 1-1 count for Domo. Now he's probably getting a bit rattled. Of course, pitchers never want to give up a run. That's hit into right field, and it barely falls. That's a foul ball. And now there are two strikes. 1-2 count. And he hits that into center field. It will fall. Davis scores easily. Going home is the runner from second Longoria. And he will score. It is a 3-1 Giants lead off the 2-RBI single from Brandon Phillips. Cueto would ground out. And then, well, Phillips, he'd reach second on the ground out. Then a single from Austin Jackson. Puts two runners on. And a full count for Andrew McCutcheon. And he drives it deep. Left field, see you later. Way back there, Andrew McCutcheon's 25th home run of the season. Ooh, he crushed that one. That ball was long gone. Look at that. Right in McCutcheon's wheelhouse. Now a full count on Jonathan Schko. Right in his wheelhouse. And McCutcheon capitalized. And Scope, he gives one a ride out to left field. Not nearly hit as well. It will scrape the wall as it goes over. But it does go over 50 home runs on the year for Jonathan Scope. Wow. 1-2 count now. Mike Moustakis steps in. Looking to go back to back to back. And he puts a ride into it. Deep. And I mean deep. Over the flags, that is a splash landing and a half. We're going to look at a replay of this one. Perdomo, he leaves the game here in the bottom of the second. As eight runs allowed in this inning alone. And let's look at this moonshot from Jonathan Scope. Or sorry, not Scope. Mike Moustakis. I mean, it cleared everything. Look how far out this ball landed. This ball landed right there. Wow, that ball's long gone. 
We might actually be able to go to replay, replay vault, uh, this, that. 482 feet, Mike Moustakis. And then back to back to back to back as Buster Posey goes deep. Four home runs in a row. Four in the inning. A record can be broken here. Not for, well, maybe for most home runs in a row, but also for most home runs in an inning. Chris Davis steps in. The 1-1 one, one count is on its way out and gone to left field. Five home runs in a row. Wow. It has never been done before until the San Francisco Giants did it right now. Five long balls in a row. It started with Andrew McCutcheon. He hit a two-run home run. Then Jonathan Scope, he hit a solo shot. Mike Moustakis hit a solo shot. Buster Posey hit one. And Chris Davis did as well. That ball is gone. And it is never coming back. Look where this thing landed. It almost cleared the stands in left field. Wow. 1-1 one, one count, Evan Longoria up. I don't think six in a row is going to happen. I didn't think it would, but it might. No, that's a deep part of the park. If that was like to left field or something, six in a row probably could have happened. Well, ten runs score, and that makes Johnny Cueto's job pretty easy. Then a double... For Brandon Phillips. He gets bunted over to third. A walk. And now Jonathan Scope. You can get yet another RBI. Let's see what he can do here in the bottom of the third. Two out. Two on. Jonathan Scope. Well, that's 51 on the year. Did he just beat uh, Moustakas 482? No, not quite. That ball was way up in the air. That's 51 on the year. That's crazy. Jonathan Scope, I mean, I don't think he will. Oh, no, Moustakas walks. I don't think he will. Another great inning from Johnny Cueto. But he could potentially at least hit 60 home runs. And he steps in again here. Two home runs in a three at bats, an 0 2 count on him. It's a 13 to 1 lead for the Giants. They've they've gotten enough runs in this game alone. They got enough runs in the second inning alone, maybe to win the series. 0 2 count. And he grounds it to third inning over. Well, he's already gone deep twice, which he seems to do a lot. Now, Cueto, he has nine strikeouts on the day. Nick that ten. Solo home run for Will Myers, okay. So what? Uh, he's had, what, one bad pitch in the last five innings, four innings? And he gets 11 there. He will be a pinch hit for, though, right here with Kevin Kiermeyer. We haven't seen Kiermeyer hit in a while. Let's see it. Let's see what he can do. Bottom of the seventh, one on, one out. Kevin Kiermeyer up. And he hits it into center field. A nice base hit. He's a good player to have on the bench. He really is. And now there are two on, one out, and the top of the order's up. Full count on Austin Jackson. Yeah, we're on the same di hitting difficulty we've been on the past couple of episodes. Oh, man, I was fixing a power cord. Well, down goes Austin Jackson. Now Andrew McCutcheon up with a 1-1 count. The idea for him probably is either to get an RBI or, lo or to load the bases for Jonathan Schko. He hits that to third. He's going to try and beat it out. He will not. Great play over there at third inning over. And they keep the score where it is. As Sam Dyson will be brought in 
to well, probably get six outs. I mean, he's a long relief. And, I mean, he's not used a ton. Alright. Well, he sends the Padres down in order. Solo home run for Eric Hosmer. Two outs. Two runs have scored in the inning. Sam Dyson. Gets a pop-up scope of all people under it. Game over, Giants win the first. Now they need two more. I didn't catch if the Dodgers lost that game or not. Of course, Jonathan Strope's player of the game. He's been player of the game this season more than any other player on the team. Than all the other players on the team combined, I feel like. It's crazy. Okay, here we go. Dodgers lost to the Diamondbacks. Okay, here we go. Go to the next one. Brian Mitchell up. Or Brian Mitchell, I believe, is on the mound against us. He's so bad. He's like the worst pitcher who's ever played the game. I know because he was on the Yankees. And I used to always say uh, when they put him on the mound, why would you do that? And I was always right because he would always at least give up a run pretty much. Solo home run for Jonathan Scope. 2 nothing Giants here. Top of the fifth. Now bottom. Bottom half. And we'll enter the game here with Jonathan Scope up again. That win in the last episode was our 100th on the season. If we win here, then we will have 50. We will have 50 um, for the for at home. Looks like the Dodgers won this one, or won their game today, and uh, hopefully we can at least match that. All right, now Jonathan Scope up home run here, pretty much wins it. Two on Scope. Oh, if that was fair, that would have been very clutch. One two count on Scope. Brian Mitchell still on the mound. And Scope pops it up. And he might be able to take out Hosmer. Oh, no. He gets out of the way just in time. Okay. Still a 2 nothing game. You can't really see a ton of pitching in the last one, so. Let's see. Uh, let's see an inning from Samarja. Why don't we? 1-2 count. Samarja. Strike three. There's one. Nice. nice. Who's this, Headley? Spangenberg. Corey Spangenberg up. Ooh, okay. Good snag by a fan there. One, two, count. Samarja strikes out another. Okay. Let's see if Samarja can strike out the side. That'd be nice. Two, one, count. Eric Hosmer up. Strike two. Wow, he took a very big hack of that and missed. 2-2 two, two count. Ooh, fouled off. Okay. We'll do the 2-2. Two, two. Once more on Hosmer. And he will not strike out the side. Austin Jackson under it. Inning over. So, we watch a noon from Jeff Samarja. Does pretty good. And, uh... We'll play Mike Moustakis is that bad as well, why don't we? Who's on? Nick Young, maybe? Chris Young. On the mound for San Diego. Okay, that is out number one. And honestly, we'll, we'll play Buster Posey, too. Why not? Why not? 2-1 count, Buster Posey up. Come on. Tag Chris Young. Okay, 3-1 count. Chris Davis on deck. He's been raking as of late. Might hit 40 on the year. 40 home runs, that is. And Posey hits that pretty hard the other way. I don't know if he hit it hard enough. No, he hit it to the warning track. Chris Davis, if, if he hits 40, that's crazy. Then we'd have three players on our team with 40-plus home runs. 2-2 two, two count. Davis. 
Strike three in the dirt. It gets away from Austin Hedges. Davis chugs his way down the line. Not fast enough. Out number three. Okay. Will Meyer steps in. Samarja, he's still on the mound. Okay. And maybe a bit of trouble there. And a double from Austin Jackson. Two runs come across. Scope, who has already homered in this one, steps in with a full count. I can't believe that he's he's actually on pace to hit 55 home runs. He has 52 so, so far. I think he's actually on pace to hit 60. Well, at 53, as that ball is long gone. Well, okay, 53. That'll end that guy's day. And then a double from Mike Moustakis and a two-run home run from Buster Posey. And then a double from Chris Davis and a single from Longoria scores Davis. Though, Samarja, he gets tagged in that inning. He gets tagged in the eighth for a bit. And Luke Roy with a pinch hit single. And now two, or now two outs, one on, bottom of the eighth, Jonathan Scope will get one more at-bat in this one. 1-1 one, one count, 2-1 count. They're afraid to pitch to him again. He's already showed them twice why they shouldn't give him anything to hit. Um, not much else to say other than, see y'all. Oh, he does line that. Ooh, bounces off his glove. That gets away. And they're going to send McCutcheon. They're sending him home. McCutcheon is going to be safe. And that is an RBI triple for Jonathan Scope. Wow. A dive that just isn't the dive that just can't get the ball in the glove. Turns into an RBI triple. Now, Mike Moustak is up. And that ball is a little pop-up. Inning over, we head to the top of the ninth where Will Smith will be brought in to finish things off. Can Smith do it? Carlos Esuaje will start things off. 2-1 two, count. 2-2 two, two count. Good slider from Smith. Okay, full count now on Eswahe, and that ball into right field, McCutcheon will actually catch it, alright, that's out number one, Smith, just such a great reliever, definitely going to use him more in year two, and he'll probably have a chance to, depending if he's going to be able to work up his stamina, I mean, Oh, but for the first time maybe we've seen all year he gives up a home run, A.J. Ellis. But he, if he can work his stamina up well enough, there's that starting spot waiting for him if he wants it. And there's two outs. All right. Here we go. Corey Spangenberg up. 1-1 one, one count. And ground ball, Phillips, ball game. So the Giants have cracked double digits in both of the first two games against the Padres. That really shows you how bad the Padres are. Now to put it in perspective, if the Dodgers don't lose this game, they win the division. They have to lose this game. Let's do it. Play next game. Let's do it. Good starting, good first inning from James Paxton. And a solo home run from Buster Posey. one nothing. Alright, let's do it.
The Dodgers win and clinch the division. And even if the Giants sweep, the Dodgers will win the division by a singular game. Wow. Just wow. 100 plus wins and the Giants are a wild card team and are going to have to face the Dodgers in, in round two of the playoffs. Scope goes deep again. But is going that those two are going to play in the NLDS and the winner moves on to the NLCS. And we will see how good the Dodgers actually are. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. 3 1 count now. Mike Mustak is up after Jonathan Scope cranked a two run home run. Like, right. he could break the home run record though it's like more than less than unlikely it's like more than very unlikely i just don't see it happening he needs what 73 to break it paxton having a great adding so far we'll pick things up here paxton oh god uh-oh, looks like James Paxton got injured. Lance Lynn is on the mound now. I didn't even know that happened. That sucks. Oh, Lynn, he's not doing terrible. That's fouled off. He is two innings in now, so he came in with two outs in the third, I think. No, two outs in the second. Okay, Chris Davis, he catches that. That's why there's, like, no strikeouts now. That's why nobody's getting any strikeouts on the Padres. Is because, well, Lance Lynn's on the mound. He doesn't strike people out. There's always contact. Did he go? No, and that is ball four. So, a walk from Lynn. I believe is the first San Diego base runner of the game. Whoa! Oh, okay. Good play there by the ball boy. Buster Posey can't get there. Do the one two count once more. And two two count. Strike! Three! So. Lynn does get a nice strike out there. Not bad. And we will continue on. And uh, really just going to focus on Lance Lynn here and see how long he can uh, do what he's doing. Ooh! Nasty fastball there from Lynn. Wow. 2-2 two -two count. A man who I've tried to fire multiple times is gives up a foul ball multiple times not doing too bad here he, he did not go full count Lynn gets Posey's sign and a pop-up Moustakis out number one nice that was a long at bat it was almost a very big base hit that probably could have ended up a double maybe even a triple Ooh, okay. Just fouling it off is Manuel Margot. Alright, here we go. Lynn. Fouled off once more. Now I'm actually going to look at what Buster Posey calls. Wants a fastball? Okay. Posey calls for the fastball. And is fouled off as well. <coughs> what will it take? To get Margot out of the batter's box. Not that. It's a 2 2 count. Lynn. Ooh, just misses with that fastball. Full count pitch. Ball four. Wow, what in that bat from Margot? That's one way to win a battle. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, his cutter has so much movement on it. It's amazing. Oh! 
Bangenberg crushes it. It just goes foul. And that ball just going to clear second base. Okay. Got there a bit faster. And Jackson, okay. Took the chance. Maybe he'd be able to catch Margot off guard. He didn't. Eric Cosmer up now. Oh, that ball's fouled off. Two strikeouts on the night for Lance Lynn. And that ball. McCutcheon, he's getting there. He gets there. Inning over. So like I said, don't really care about our hitting. We have our runs. Though I do care about this guy's hitting. Let's see what Jonathan Schoke can do. What's he done on the day? Um... Okay, he has homered on the day. Okay. Oof. I was worried that Scope might not homer on the day. 55 on the year. He has uh, at, he has like a series and the rest of this game to hit 60. If he does, that would be crazy. Okay, now we can skip the hitting. A single for Mustakis, single for Posey. I do want to play Chris Davis's at bat because just to see if he can keep his nice hitting going. 2 1 count on Davis. Clayton Richard on the mound for San Diego. And ooh, wow, Chris Davis just missed that one. Just missed it. And we will do a 2 2 once more. Did he go? No, says the first base umpire. The count runs full with Longo. Yes, Evan Longoria on deck. Three-two pitch, and Chris Davis will continue his good inning or his good hitting with a two RBI triple. Nice. The Padres—they're just so bad. They really are. They're just so bad. We might drop. At least 10 on them again. All right, no outs. Let's see what Evan Longoria will do. He'll hit a ground out, strike out, nothing. Okay. So Lynn, he will continue out on the mound here in the top of the seventh. Ooh, a good fastball there. And in the bullpen, we are going, we are going to warm up Will Smith. And David Robertson. Here we go. One two pitch. Is inside. And I. Two two pitch. Lynn. Fires a fastball hit into left. Davis. Out number one. Lance Lynn really having four innings, two walks, two strikeouts. Having a decent day for him being him. And that ball, that's a little, that's, who's going to get it? And whoo, hoo, hoo. Phil FC calls it at the last second. That almost fell in. Now Chase Headley up. A one, two pitch. Is inside. It'll be two, two now. There is something we haven't thrown a ton in this one. How about a two seamer from Lynn? That is hit Davis. He's after it. He won't be able to get there. And we'll do the and we'll what the heck? And we will do the two two once more. Ooh, the two seam just misses there. The count runs full. Lynn. Oh, Headley almost went deep. Headley almost went deep. We're gonna bring uh we're gonna bring you the heat chase. Okay, scope is there. And, well, Lance Lynn, another good inning. <sighs> okay. Okay. Our offense doesn't do anything. We don't really need it to do anything. And we're going to call to the bullpen for David Robertson. And Robertson, fend off San Diego for now. Oh, good cutter there. A 
Okay, fastball outside, 2 2 count. Okay, that pitch definitely was not where Robertson wanted it, but I mean, it got fouled off. Nothing bad came from it, so at least that. Oh, fouled off. Okay. 2 2 once more. And it's fouled off again. So Robertson battling with the first batter he faces. And he will strike out Hedges, Austin Hedges, for out number one. Now, what's this guy's name? This is Alan Cordoba. Okay, I've heard of him. Okay, one, two count now is... That pitch is fouled off. And that one is too. Man. Robertson, he's just getting fouled off like crazy. All right. I don't want to throw that. I kind of got confused as to what I was going to do there, so I just had to waste one. And that is fouled off again. So once again, Robertson, the 2-2 pitch. And that's popped up. Under it is Longoria. Out number two. Oh, Shane. Shane Peterson steps in 1-1 one, one count. He will pinch it here. 1-2 count. I don't know what pitch I just threw. Oh, it was a four-seam fastball. Thank you. Strike three. All right, I'm going to address it now. The Padres have not gotten a hit this inning. Or this game, sorry. Now, do I leave in Robertson? He had a good inning. I want to leave him in, but Will Smith is more trusted in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave in Robertson. Two one count. That's a little, little hit. Out number one. Okay. I'm going to just go quiet. Where's the remote? Here's the remote. Ooh, kind of stressed. Let's do this. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Corey Spangenberg. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ball taken there, 2-1 now. Now the 2-1. And that pitch catches the inside corner. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now. Robertson, one out away from finishing it off. Into center field. Jackson. Ball game. A combined no hitter for the San Francisco Giants. The third one for the team this season. We have had one perfect game by Chris Archer. A no hitter from Jeff Samarja. And now starting off the game, James Paxton. He goes two innings and two thirds, giving giving up no hits. Then Lance Lynn comes on, goes four or five innings, at, I don't know, gives up no hits. He really did the heavy work. And then David Robertson came on and finished off the job. Wow. Lance Lynn gets the victory. I can turn the sound down now. That, that's, well, even though we're not winning the division, that's pretty cool that we were able to do that. Zeros across the board for the Padres. And the Giants win yet again. They have clinched the wild card spot. And it's just... Who will they play? 
Wait, let's look at the Brewers and the Reds. Who are they playing? Alright, we'll start off. Who are the Brewers playing? They're playing Detroit. And now the Reds. They're playing Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, 71 and 88. Detroit, 65 and 94. So I'd say Milwaukee has a better chance. But you never know. Next episode will be the final series of the season. There's no way that even with the season Kershaw's having, he's, better, he's having a better year than Scoop. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hitting 300 with 55 home runs. You can't beat that. You really can't. <sighs> Judge, 50 home runs, 271. <laughs> okay, he's having a good year. Cy Young, Corey Kluber, of course. It's not even close. Like, Clayton Kershaw has that wrapped up. Like, in order for him to win, we'd have to tee off on Kershaw, and Max Scherzer would have to throw three perfect games and start the last three games of the season, which is not going to happen. Robertson might win reliever of the year after being a part of that outing. Never heard of Blake Parker. Did that say, yeah, Rookie of the Year, Alex Reyes, he's injured for the season in real life. Wow. Wow, I can't believe. I'm going to be kind of upset if we sweep and be one game out and have a 105 wins. Like, it's not even close. Oh, actually, the Indians have a win more than us. Wow. Wow, okay. Four teams finished with over 100 wins this year. That is... And then one, two, three, four, five. Five finished... Yeah, yeah, five finished with less than 70. And the Braves... Oh, no. Wow, 51, and something else very bad. 51 in 108. Oh, wow. Yikes. Nationals, they clinched the division a while ago. Yeah, I think every division's clinched. Wait. Oh, that the Yankees and Red Sox are tied. The winner wins the division, the loser goes to the wild card game. And they're playing each other. Oh, whoever wins this series. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. That that that's cool. That'll be a good series. Unfortunately, we're not a Yankees franchise, though. I might be able to make um, a bit of time to showcase. Not like not go into the games, not even quick manage them, but showcase the box score and stuff. I might be able to do that. Wow. What? What an episode. Third no-hitter of the year. And we still aren't even going to win the division. And it's the Dodgers pitching that did it for them. That is their pitching that did it for them. Clayton Kershaw, 1.65 ERA. Rich Hills, or Alex Wood, 2.96. That's good. 3.21 for Maeda. Oh, 4.26 from Urias, okay. And then 3.54 from Hill. And then I mean, you got Canley, who was lights out all year long. Like, Josh Fields, see how he did? 2.64, wow. I mean, of course they had some pitchers who didn't do great, but for the most part, they did pretty good. And let's lastly look at their lineup. See how their lineup did. Their leadoff man is really not good. 
They're, he's really their re, their leadoff man, Andrew Tolles, just isn't good. Chris Taylor having an off year too. Corey Seager, he's having a great year. Cody Bellinger, great year. Justin Turner, great year. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, he a great year. Okay, Matt Kemp, pretty good year. Uh, Yasmani Grandal, terrible year. And then the pitcher. Oh no, yeah, no, that's second base. Oh, okay, and then their second baseman, Austin Barnes, not having a bad year. Okay, so their first two suck, and then from down on, and then their next seven is amazing. Rich Hill, he's not having a great hitting year, but he's a pitcher. Anyways, that will wrap up this episode of the San Francisco Giants franchise here on MLB 18 as the show. Um, wait, what? Okay. On MLB 18 the show. Um, yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Um,. Yeah, just... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, just pretty... Pretty good. Why is Paxton not happy? He doesn't like his contract? Really? Okay, whatever. He wants top-tier coaching. What is our coaching? I don't think I've looked at that all year. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Well, we'll address that in the offseason. Anyway, yeah, episode. Peace.